<laughs> all right guys so i'm gonna attempt to make this video while it's stormy outside so if you hear any noise this is why hey guys what's going on so today i'm going to teach y'all how to get into the business of repairing lawnmowers and how to start a business out of it cheap so let's get started Okay guys, so I'm not going to prepare for this video like I normally would with getting everything organized and out. I kind of want to run through this just to show you how simple it is. Um, so when I mean the lawnmower repair business, this is changing oil, carburetor tune-ups or replacement, blade uh, sharpening or changing, pull cords, throttle cables, that whole nine yards. Super simple stuff. We're not going to go into the engine rebuilding part of this or the deck swapping, but those are things that you can learn fairly simple. So, we could invest 150 bucks into some really nice stuff, but we still need more tools. So, for under $100, we're going to be able to start this business. I'm going to show you what you need. I will link in the description below all the tools that I recommend and where you can get them really cheap. So. First thing you're gonna need is spark plug sockets. Here we have the 21 millimeter and the 5 8 or 16 millimeter. The 16 millimeter is what you're gonna use for spark plugs and the blades themselves. And I'll show you that here in a minute. This one is for larger spark plugs. Not a lot of lawnmowers have this, but some riding lawnmowers do and pressure washers. Depends on what motor it is. Um, but Typically it's the 16 or 5 eighths. Next, we're gonna need a can of PB Blaster, WD-40, some kind of penetrating oil. It's not a tool, but it is a must in a shop. Next, we need a breaker bar. Breaker bar is a long ratchet, well, a socket. Um, it's a, a ratchet for a socket, but it's it's usually not ratcheting, it's just a long breaker bar. Uh, so people just trying to dummy by that. Next, we're gonna need a complete set of adapters, uh, so quarter inch, half inch, um, and up. Some extensions, different sizes. That's one long extension, there's a small one. I like to use these adapters, the, the impact adapters, not the actual this is a hammer gun, it's not actually an impact gun. But a hammer gun works great. You don't need a whole lot of torque. This does about 95 pounds of torque, that's all you really need. And then you can finish it off with this or a torque wrench if you have one. You're gonna need a full socket set. And the good thing about a full socket set is these spark plug sockets will usually come in that kit if you buy a nice one. So you won't have to go out and buy extra ones. And just a tip, if you're having issues getting a spark plug out, this is the perfect size to put a different socket on or you can take this and you can put a wrench on it so it gets you a little bit more for it. I don't think I have the right size. Yeah, here. These two lock together. So just a helpful hand. So in the full socket set you're gonna need I would suggest a millimeter and a standard set. Um, so, yeah, a pair of pliers, a knife, Phillips, and flathead screwdrivers, and you're pretty much good to go. Now, that being said, let's come over to my toolbox. I'll show you a few other tools that you might want. You're going to want a hammer. And you're going to want some sockets. I mean, not sockets, but wrenches. I don't know sockets. You need some wrenches. Um, toilet piece reversible set. Uh, metric and standard, those are the best. Not necessary, but they do help a lot. We're gonna need a flathead and Phillips head, like I said earlier. Um, you usually don't need a voltmeter unless you're working on riding lawnmowers or electric start. Um, files to sharpen blades, angle grinders to cut stuff, a Dremel to sharpen blades. Uh, I prefer a bench grinder, but I don't have one. Mine broke, so I gotta get a new one. Crescent wrench. And pretty much you can literally find all these tools I'm talking about for under $100 used. Um, you can, 
all the hand tools I'm gonna link below for under a hundred dollars for the entire sets um, together so definitely check that out then we have this this is a lawnmower then we have this one and then I have my trailer which I pick them up because I don't have a pickup truck and I don't feel like lifting into the back of my truck my forerunner so let me just show y'all this is two lawn mowers that I picked up this week for repair. Now let me show you what I mean by repairs. Repairing a lawn mower is super simple, guys. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy simple. This is a parts one I was given. The other one is for repair, but this one's in more shape, so I can show you. So people come to you, they're like, eh, I need a tune-up. Right here is your air filter. Underneath that is a carburetor. It's got little bolts to take it off. But most of the time, it's a gummed up air filter. And if you do need a new carburetor, to be honest, they're cheaper than new now. You can buy a brand new one and slap it on here. So all you're gonna do is take a couple bolts off, one line, a couple springs, and it's off. It looks intimidating, guys, I'm telling you, it is not. It's super simple. Just all you have to do is watch some other YouTube videos. It's super simple to replace. Or you can even just read the manual. Um, but as you can see, really dirty filter. It's probably falling apart. Gummit. Yeah, it's falling apart. Messing up the um, carburetor. Clean the carburetor from carb cleaner. If that doesn't fix the problem, take it apart. You can try to rebuild them. But honestly, this carburetor probably costs you six to fifteen bucks on Amazon. Next day shipped. It's crazy. I never replace a weed eater carburetor. I mean, I never rebuild a re. Uh, I never rebuild a weed eater carburetor anymore. They're cheaper to buy new and they're pre tuned. Literally, I can buy a carburetor for a weed eater for $10 to $20, depending on if it's a Husqvarna or Ryobi or whatever it is. I can replace it, charge the person double, and be done in like five minutes. Where if I rebuild it, I'm gonna have to buy a rebuild kit, I'm gonna spend an hour rebuilding it, putting it back together. It's just faster, easier, and they're. <laughs> They're honestly more happy because I put a new part on. Next, throttle cables. Throttle cables on lawnmowers break all the time. It's super simple to replace. I ordered them on Amazon. I got these throttle cables for $7. This one doesn't fit this one. I thought it did, but it fits the other one over there, which doesn't need a throttle cable. Um, and I replaced another one at the same time. But pretty much, you can replace a throttle cable for next to nothing. About six bucks. Pull string. You can replace it with paracord. You can replace it with more string. You can buy a roll of the string for like 20 bucks for 100 yards of it. It's stupid cheap. I'll link it down below. Or you can buy a whole pull cord kit at Lowe's, Home Depot. I think even Walmart sells it. And the pull cord kit is uh, seven dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I bought one the other day. Six or seven dollars. Um, and all you do is take this piece off. Cut the old string out, spin it around, put the string in, and you're done. The biggest money maker for me is replacing blades. I've only been doing this this one year, guys. I'm not an expert. So, heads up. So, replacing blades, I don't really care about Turn this long more around. This one right here. So, I'm going to show you how fast I can change this blade out in real time. So, I'm gonna check. All right, too big. That's a 21. This is a 16. That's what I was talking about. That's perfect. Put it on here. I am gonna grab a glove if I can find one. Yeah. I'm not gonna worry about putting it on. I'm just gonna put it on here. There we go. It's off. This blade is toast. There's no point in even trying to save this one. I would go to the parts store, uh, Home Depot Lowe's. I'll pick up a $15 blade or whatever blade that fits this one. I'll tell the customer, hey, $10, five for me picking it up, five for me replacing the blade, plus the part. I made $5 in what? A minute? 30 seconds? 
All I gotta do is screw it back on. And it's done. That's all I did. Flip it over, crank it up, make sure it doesn't vibrate because it's off balance or anything or bent. And I'm done. Fat is the money maker. And I can do so many of these a day. I can do like, let's see, I did the other day. I did one. I, I honestly rather replace the blades and sharpen them. But, you know, people are cheap. I get it. Um, I picked up four lawnmowers Friday. Two sharpen, one replace, and one uh, tune up. Tune up honestly took me longer than anything. So the tune up took uh, oil change, spark plug, clean the gas tank out, clean the uh, carburetor. That took me 30 minutes maybe. I did the two blade replacements. No, one blade replacement? No, it was one blade replacement. That took me five seconds. I sharpened one blade, it took me literally like five minutes uh, with a file. Uh, I used a file and then the other one was really bad so it took me about 20 minutes to get it perfect. Now, I'm kind of OCD when it comes to the blades but you could you know, do a quick sharpen on a good blade. It'd take you five minutes and you're done but this guy's blades were worn out. I told him to replace them. He didn't have the money. Older gentleman, no problem. I hooked them up. So you're probably thinking how can I start this business for $100? Literally, all you need is hand tools and a way to transport the lawnmowers. Everything else is physical labor. It's cheap labor. It's simple. You can do a bunch of it. All you do is have to diagnose it. Diagnosing the lawnmower is super simple, super easy. There's tons of videos out there, so I'm not going to make any on it. So there's no point in me making it on it. There's plenty of manuals, plenty of tutorials. Vlogs, vlogs, everything. So, all you have to do is figure out what's wrong with the lawnmower. Most of the time, someone's lawnmower is running fine, or their pull cables broke, or honestly, I see more broken pull cables and blades than anything. Pull cables they wear out, and you know you're gonna see the ones with the bent wheels. People are like, oh, can you bend the wheels back? Okay, fine. I bend the wheels back. It took me a couple minutes. Oh, I need a new wheel. Whatever, um, and. I charge $5 per blade to sharpen and $5 per blade to replace. So if someone has a riding lawnmower, I just made $10 and it took me hardly any time. Everyone's like, oh, well, you need ramps for, for lawnmowers and yada, yada, yada. No, most lawnmowers, you can pick the deck all the way up on its highest setting. You can chalk it with a block or four by four. So you're safe. You can go under here with this or you can just take a ratchet and you can get it off by hand. Another way to do it, take a jack. Take a regular old floor jack and jack at the front end, put some chocks under it, put some chocks behind the wheels and you're done. It, and you don't have to have ramps to drive it up. You could, you could do it in a ditch, honestly. Put some ramps over the, over the ditch culverts, run it over there, get under it, zap, 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 and you're good to go. Doesn't take a lot of money to get in this. You can create a very lucrative side business in in no time, and you get to do, you'll learn taxes. It's a small business. You get the the business breaks. You'll be able to learn all all the little tricks and trades of owning a business and running a business without having a lot on the line. You don't have to invest thousands of dollars. All all you need is the capital, and you don't even really need it. You can ask the person to buy it. The capital. To go buy the parts, usually not much. The most expensive thing I ever seen was a Troy built carburetor that had to be replaced. It was completely broke. That was $190. Okay, that's not that much. And the more you do, the more you're gonna learn. You're gonna have trials and errors, but just know, lawnmowers are cheap. Push mowers are cheap. Riding lawnmowers, they're fairly cheap. You can, I've made quite a bit of money finding lawnmowers on the side of the road, fixing them, and reselling them on Facebook. It's not hard, guys. And I've only been doing this a year. So, as always, guys, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I don't have a lot more ideas on how to make money. I have been making side money my whole life, pretty much. Well, since since pretty much I could talk, I was 
I was doing all kinds of stuff around the house, earning extra cash. Um, so I do lawn care. I do car audio. I do maintenance on people's vehicles. I have two toolboxes full of tools. I do woodworking. I've got a rear end right there. I haul stuff for people when they need it. Extra cash there. I do the vinyl decals. There's tons of ways to make money, guys, and I'm going to walk you through every bit that I know. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed.